Some people have to take their jackets off to get in their sleeping bag. And then there's others that don't. How's it going? My name's Nate, and today we're gonna to be going over the Slumber Jacket by Voided. Voided does an awesome job coming up with really innovative stuff, and the Slumber Jacket is really par for the course. Now, I do have to say that Voided did send me this jacket to try out, and it was awesome. I'm not getting paid to say anything good about this, and if you stay till the end, I'll actually tell you something that I don't really like about this jacket. But right now, let's go over the specifications. The jacket that I got was navy, black, navy. They have a three-part color scheme uh, because the top is one color, the middle is one color, and then the bottom that zips your feet into the sleeping bag, that's a, a different color as well. I'm six foot one, 200 pounds, and I got an extra large. Feel free to use their size guide online. Um, it'll help you out kind of figure out where you're at as far as sizes go. My jacket at an extra large weighs 3.3 ounces. Now this costs $215 US, but wait to see what I have to say before you start running for the hills. That brings us into the features of this. The features are incredible. So first things first, the exterior is made out of 100% recycled 50D polyester, and it has a really cool water repellency that is eco-fluorine, fluorine, fluorine free, fluorine, it's eco-friendly. The insulation on the inside is a Prima Loft recycled loft uh, that keeps you very warm. Speaking of temperatures, let's go over the temperatures. I just want to get you in the right range so you're not buying this to get in like sub-zero freezing temperatures. So the extreme, extreme temperatures that this could be used in is 23 degrees Fahrenheit. I would advise not utilizing this in that cold of weather. As far as the comfort temperature goes, your comfort temperature is going to be in between 45 degrees and 52 degrees. That's where you're going to be super super, super comfortable sleeping and wearing this jacket. Did I say sleeping in this jacket? I did. That brings us to the next feature, and really, this feature is probably the coolest of the entire jacket. Now, we can go from head to toe and tell you how awesome the hood is, how nice the zipper is, that it gets into that nice little garage there, and that it also has a gigantic footprint. It goes all the way down to my shins. I could also tell you that the interior of it is super comfy, really soft polyester. I could also tell you that it has hand gaiters so that your hands won't get cold right here. But my favorite feature of all of those things is that you can sleep in it. At the beginning of this, I said that some people have to take their jacket off to get into their sleeping bag. And I told you that this one, you don't. Well, it's true. This, I wore as a jacket. Everything I was doing, I was able to use my hands, I was able to light fires, I was able to sit in chairs, I was able to shoot photography, and I was able to do all of the things that I could do with just a normal jacket on. Kind of in the back of my head was, man, I don't have to take this thing off to go to sleep. It was so cool. I just unsnapped these two little sections on the inside of the jacket, unzip it, you unsnap it, you bring out the foot layer of it, or the foot section, the feet section, the foot section of it, and uh, you take that foot section, bring it back up, zip it in, and you are in a sleeping bag. It is that fast. That is so cool. What are my final thoughts about the slumber jacket? Is it really worth the hype? Is it really a jacket that you can actually utilize? Is it just kind of a gimmick? Well, I'll leave that up to you, but I'll tell you what I think about it. Having this around the campsite is really an awesome feature because you are wearing the jacket that you wanna be wearing when it starts getting really cold, you know, like right after the sun goes down. That's the perfect time to throw this thing on and then do whatever you have to do around the campsite, light fires, do whatever. No problem because your hands are free. Most sleeping bags just tie you up in a cocoon and you can't get out, not this one. The pros are that it's super comfortable, super warm, and it's element resistant. What I really like about this is that 
that this jacket can be utilized not only camping, wear the jacket, set up the campsite, do all the things, then zip it up and it becomes your sleeping bag. But this can be one of those things that you just fold the back of it up, just turns into a jacket slash parka, and you can use this at a soccer game when it's freezing cold, you can use it at a baseball game. You could literally do anything you can think of where you would need a jacket and you'd be totally fine. This thing would be super, super warm. And at the off chance that you're at your campsite, then feel free to unzip the bottom of it and turn it into a sleeping bag. Incredible. Seriously, so cool. Now, there is one con that I found, and the one con for this is that it could get a little bit dirty. But remember, you're camping. This thing is going to get dirty. And you know what I did? I just wiped it off with a towel, and it was totally fine. Just like I tested out the water repellency, same thing. I just wiped it off, and it was totally good. So on the off chance that you are aggravated that this will get dirty, Remember, you're wearing a jacket that's a little bit longer and can be your sleeping bag, so there's a trade-off there. If you don't want your sleeping bag to be dirty, then go get a sleeping bag and throw it in your car, van, tent, whatever. But if you're like me, you wanna wear that jacket around, just zip up the feet and you're done, it's pretty good. And you can move around in the middle of the night if something happens, you just unzip that really quick, get your feet on the ground and book it. Or in my case, get to the front seat, turn the car on and fly away leaving all of your camp stuff behind. I hope you like this video. If you haven't seen the review of Voided's Cloud Touch Blanket, please click right here. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.